up and down the field. Arkansas just outscored them. They had 42 points and they ran it effectively and uh, a lot of quarterback run and uh, a lot of running back run. I thought the quarterback did a nice job of uh, throwing the ball in that game, the best he's been all year. What's his deal? Uh, Reed Getting better. I mean, uh, they've used him in the one plus, which means a lot of quarterback run uh, in their offense. I think he's carried it like 51 times or 61 times. Uh, and I'm not talking about quarterback scrambles. I mean, just design carries and all that stuff, just in our breakdown of alone, which is about 400 plays. So, uh, you know, it's a big part of their offense, him being able to run. I, mean, I think he's gotten better at uh, reading coverage and throw. How do you feel about their, their running back situation? Do you feel like that's a position group that's kind of improved for them as the season has gone on? Yeah, I do. I mean, they've used uh, several different guys in there. And, uh, you know, they've used Shumpert, you know, in the short yardage situations uh, a lot more. And they've used Williams and they've used Holloway. So, uh, you know, they put some things together. But then, um, you know, in the – Quarterback's been the leading rusher and carries um, by far, I think, 60 more than anybody else. Um, you know, they're going to they're going to use him in the running game. That's how they've um, improved the running game. The, the, what type of challenge does uh, Nick Fitzgerald's skill set present to, to your defense? Uh, I think it's uh, anytime you put a one plus in there, you know, with that extra quarterback running. I mean, that's one more blocker that they have, and it creates uh, problems for everybody. So. Uh, You've got to be able to count for him, but yet uh, handle him in the passing game as well. So uh, I think any team that runs a quarterback uh, like they do and as much as they did, you've got to account for him. From a personnel standpoint, what do you have to do first half without DeMarcus available? Yeah, I mean, uh, just uh, give those guys an opportunity to play. You know, the ones that, uh, you know, get the chance to step up and do what they got to do. And uh, that's all you can do at this point. And, and uh, we'll get them playing uh, the best that they can. And, Hopefully, get them schemed up the right way, and give them a chance to uh, be successful. You think uh, Isaac's going to be I okay? I hope so. I hope so. Uh, I don't know for sure yet. Uh, of course, you know it seems like it's uh, Wednesday in the week, but it's really not. It's Tuesday, so we'll have time to find out how he's going to be. Do you feel like their offense kind of turned the corner once they settled on Fitzgerald? Yeah, <clears throat> I think. Um, I think anytime you know you got a young quarterback here, it is late in the season, and as much as he's played, I think he's uh, feeling more comfortable and he's gotten more confidence. And uh, I thought against Arkansas last week, he did a really nice job. I mean, they scored 42 points and had 530 some yards, so uh, I thought they did a good job. Just Arkansas uh, was fortunate enough to uh, to outscore them in that game, so they're getting better. Uh, of course, the week before that, they're going against Alabama, and Alabama totally. You know, shuts everybody down, it seems like. Uh, and uh, it was a different situation right there. But uh, I think he's gotten better as the season's gone on. Well, after you watch the film of the Vanderbilt game, what, what's the final analysis? I wanted to throw up. You know, yeah. I thought um, I, I didn't think we executed well. I didn't get lined up five or six times. Uh, I didn't think the energy was what it normally is with our uh, group. And uh, I thought it was uh, embarrassing.